The Delhi election tracker finds that the BJP is the most popular party, but Arvind K. Jival is the most popular choice of Chief Minister. We'll keep getting you excerpts on that debate uh, from last night. Shifting focus to the other big story we're tracking this morning, the war between the BJP and the TMC set to intensify with a short discussion on the Sharda scam slated in Lok Sabha today. With TMC persistently attacking the BJP, it will be the government's chance to corner the TMC, which uh, already has several of its MPs under scanner. BJP members also moved a notice under Rule 193 to discuss the Sharda scam on Thursday, coinciding with TMC Chief Mamata Banerjee's arrival in Delhi. Winter woes in North India. Several key districts of Himachal Pradesh, including Kullu, continue to witness a complete blackout for the sixth consecutive day, with the administration struggling with trying to restore power lines. Heavy snowfall in the region has also blocked roads, cutting off entire villages. Back in the capital, Delhiites woke up to a thick blanket of fog this morning. The city recorded a minimum temperature of 7.4 degrees and a maximum of 19.6 degrees. The cold wave now seems to have settled over North India with low temperatures and heavy fog being reported from Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan and parts of Uttar Pradesh. Jammu and Kashmir continued to shiver as well with Leh and Kargil recording minus 14 degree temperature. जब वेस्टर्न डिस्ट्रिक्ट में निकल जाता है पहाड़ों में तो तापमान नेगेटिव हो जाते हैं तो इसमें जम्मू कश्मीर में तापमान सोन से नीचे बने हुए हैं हिमाचल उत्तराखंड से ज्यादा बर्फबारी हुई थी आप जानते हैं वीकेंड सैटरडे शनिवार को भारी से बहुत भारी बर्फबारी हुई थी हिमाचल उत्तराखंड में वहां भी तापमान अब मौसम साफ है वहां भी तापमान काफी गिर गए हैं तो मैदानों में तापमान दो डिग्री तीन डिग्री चार डिग्री हो जाना और पहाड़ों में जीरो या जीरो से या शून्य से भी माइनस में चले जाना ये तो नॉर्मल चीज है इसमें अब दिसंबर का एंड आ रहा है Pictures on your screens are of heavy snowfall from Himachal Pradesh. Uh, crucial roads have been blocked, power and water lines have been snapped. Efforts are being made to restore power line the entire region plunged into darkness and advisory has also been issued by the administration asking tourists to not uh, make plans for uh, Kullu and Manali till restoration work has been completed. Friday morning has started with dense fog for Delhi it's at 2.30 a.m. The visibility was just 200 meters. Right now the visibility is around 400 meters. But my department says that throughout the day, fog will create problems for Delhiites. And as the evening progresses, there will be a dense fog cover over Delhi. So please drive carefully. The temperature right now is about 8 degrees Celsius. It will go up to about 18 degrees Celsius. The temperature will remain like this for about two more days. And after that, there will be a further dip. Fog cover will also be there on Saturdays and Sundays, so please drive carefully with the headlights of the car on so that you safely reach your destination. With camera person Subhul Saxena, this is Shweta Sharma for headlines today in Delhi. Kashmir Valley is under the grim cold wave. The temperatures recorded in the Srinagar city previous night were minus 4.5 degrees centigrade, which is the lowest of the season. Even the temperatures in the hill stations and other areas of the Jammu and Kashmir state are too low. If we can talk of Kargil and Ladakh, the temperatures recorded in the less city in the previous night were minus 15 degree, which was the season's lowest temperature so far recorded. Even you can see in the Srinagar, this is the dew which is just getting freeze every morning in the Srinagar and it makes the life very difficult for the people. Many schools are still private schools open in the Kashmir Valley and the students and working class have the tough period to work in this cold temperature here in the Srinagar. Now the temperature has completely come down to the freezing point and the water sources in most of the hilly areas are getting freezed. That also is decreasing the power input in the hydroelectric power projects of the valley. This is the situation which the people of Kashmir Valley face in the winters and in these winters the flood affected areas are much worse. 
with cameraman Jahangir Ashrafani for Headlines Today in Srinagar. And Ashraf is also with us uh, live from Srinagar this morning. Ashraf, you're telling us that flood affected areas are badly hit because of heavy snowfall. What are the problems that these people are encountering? Yeah, basically, this is the tough time for the, which was predicted earlier, the people who had got affected by the flood, they will be much affected by this cold wave here in the Kashmir Valley. This is the cold season. We are known to these kinds of temperatures. But as not only the flood affected areas, but even most parts of the Srinagar city were damp, they were water filled earlier for the month or, or more than month. And that is why when this uh, uh, this uh, wet land gets evaporated in the day and in the night when temperatures uh, come down below zero degree then this whole uh, moisture gets freezed that is the main cause of the uh, declining temperatures and the foggy mornings here in the Srinagar city we are experiencing this thing for so many days but the previous night was the coldest uh, one in the Srinagar city the temperatures were recorded minus 4.2 degrees centigrade which is the lowest in the season and that is somehow affecting the normal work norm normal life in the Kashmir Valley also in the other parts of the Jammu and Kashmir state, particularly in the Leh city and Kargil, the temperatures are below 10 to below 15 degrees centigrade, which is much lower. Right. Basically, the Met Department has predicted this kind of temperature in this season as there is a open sky in the day and cloudy and moist in the night. That is the main reason for this temperatures and also the impact of western disturbance. Recently, we have seen snowfall in the Himachal and other uh, areas. Right. And so far, Unless and until there is no so snowfall in the Kashmir Valley, there could be these declines in the temperatures. Ashraf, thanks so much for getting us this ground report. Ashraf, telling us about problems that uh, flood victims uh, in Jammu and Kashmir are encountering due to heavy snowfall. We'll continue tracking developments.